was a good fight. But let's see, because we've had five that were too small. Hopefully he makes it. Oh. He looked like the rest of them, but might be a chance. Let's see. Very nice. It's a good fight. He almost ran the wrong way and the right way. Mouth closed like the FWC told me. Zero. 18 and a half. Keep This is in April. Oh, did he get it? There he goes, guys. He's going in. Oh, yes. Let's see what I catch with that thing. All right, guys. So we are loaded with seaweed everywhere. Whenever there's a lot of seaweed like this, what I like to do is just fish right on the pilings. I don't try to cast out too far because I'm just going to keep getting stuck with seaweed and I'm gonna be ruining all these really nice baits. I got some really nice shrimp, so instead of casting far, I'm just gonna drop down on the pilings. You guys stay tuned. All right, guess what, guys, I'm here. Let me show you what I got, what was part of the arsenal. I think this is a top line 400, this is a top line uh, 500. I got 40 pound braid, 40 pound uh, top shot to a 40 pound leader. Same with this one. This one is actually 50 pound braid, 50 pound top shot, 40 pound leader. On my spinning rods, I have the Bait Runner 6000D, 20 pound fluorocarbon, and then I have a backing of braid. Same with this one. This one is 40 pound, because it's a 12,000, and I have a backing of 50 pound braid. And then this one, this is the one I caught that mutton on last video. I have all, 40, uh, all 20 pound fluorocarbon. We got a terrible batch of seaweed everywhere. So what I'm doing, whenever the seaweed slows down a little bit, I'm putting the shrimp on and casting in the little pockets, right? So the fish are turned on. It's just, we can't keep a bait down because of the seaweed. Here it goes. Oh, right there. Let me go ahead and drag it a little bit. Just want to make sure it doesn't get caught. Right there, that's good. And I'm holding the rod in my hand too. This has been a game changer holding the rod. Instead of trying to fish so many rods, just keeping one in my hand. It's keeping the ratio higher. Build up a little bit. I'm trying to avoid the seaweed. That's all I'm trying to do out here. But you see, I got the bell open. I have the bell open, holding the rod. Let me go ahead and reel that in. That's a piece of seaweed. There's nothing I can do about that. Bring it in and try to cast better. Try to cast to a better spot than that. Let me see. My shrimps are already tore up, so I'm gonna go get a new shrimp. Let's go get a new one, guys. Oh yeah. And for these muttons, you don't even need a monster shrimp, you know, like a nice, healthy, medium-sized shrimp like that that's like the perfect size and you will easily get a 20 inch mutton on a, on a shrimp like this all right let's see hook it right in the back and you see the shrimp and the hook are almost the same color 
perfect. I'm gonna try to throw it in that pocket right there because this seaweed is horrible. Right there, that's perfect. Perfect, hopefully it stays down there long enough. If it does, I'm sure I'm gonna get a bite. Reel up a little bit and then I'm holding it. Once I know I hit bottom, I'm holding it in my hand. I feel some taps, but I'm waiting for that big monster run that the muttons are known for. Let's go, go. Let's go, let's go. Take off. Uh-oh, here it goes, that's a run. There it go. I got him. I got him. I don't think he's a keeper, but he was. that was a good little run. It just shows me the fish are out there. I'm gonna, back, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tighten up the drag. I backed off of it a little bit. Yeah, see small little mutton, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Boom, look at that guys. Perfect. Small little mutton. Then what I'm gonna do is release them on this side. Release them on this side, pretty mutton. There you go, brother. Boom. black oh my god I gotta land this black by myself leave it right there see if I can get my net under it yes 
I got him, guys! Oh my god! Oh, incredible! I got this black. Look at that black. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Incredible! I know he's a keeper. Just the wrong time of the year, man. Oh shoot! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, 20 pound test, guys! 20 pound test! Look at that black! Look at that black! I gotta release him! Oh shoot! <coughs> Look at this black, guys. Incredible. Look at this black. Oh my God, I got a 30 inch black. Thirty inch black, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Landed by myself. I gotta put him back in the water. Here it goes. Incredible, guys. Incredible. Incredible. Look at him. Coming out. Swim away nicely.